picking up the Magic Mouse 2. However, this was released in 2015. Is it still worth it today? Let's find out. My name is Ivan Chicago. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss if the Magic Mouse 2 is a good option for you. So if you're wanting to stay in the Apple ecosystem or you just want that piece of Apple tech, well this mouse along with the trackpad are really your only options. So is this worth it? Well, it really depends. Are you a gamer? Are you a heavy editor? Or do you like to have lots of functions on your mouse? Well, if that's the case, this might not be the mouse for you. There are other mouses out there that will probably be better, like the Logitech MX, which if you guys want, leave a comment down below in the comments and I can do a comparison video for you. I believe this mouse is best for the casual user. So if you're okay with just the basic functions of a the mouse, then this is the perfect mouse for you. Battery is very solid. With two minutes of charge, you can get up to nine hours of use and fully charged, you can probably use it for a month or two, depending on how much you use it. So some of the functions that you can find on this mouse is along with the up and down scrolling, you can also do side to side. And this isn't like most Apple products where it's tied to just Apple devices. You can actually connect this to Bluetooth and connect this to your PC. And to be completely honest, my favorite part of this mouse is how sleek and beautiful it is. Aesthetically, it is probably one of the best mouse out there. And it's from 2015, so it's still, it's still holding up. However, one of the drawbacks is that it very easily gets fingerprints, so I find myself having to clean it very, very often. So if you're gonna pick one of these up, definitely make sure to pick up one of these uh, cleaning solutions and a little rag, because as soon as you touch this, it's gonna have fingerprints on there. If you're an editor that's okay with the basic functions that this mouse offers, this still could be a good option. I specifically like that when I am on my Final Cut timeline, I can just scroll left to right. Ultimately, it depends on your needs, but even today, I think this could be a solid pickup and option for you. If you want to see more videos on tech, gear, filmmaking, or lifestyle, definitely hit the subscribe button, and if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, for the YouTube algorithm. It definitely helps. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.